Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a time lapse demo and review of Derwent Inktense paper using Derwent Inktense pencils. This is part two of a two part series. If you haven't had a chance to see part one of my light fast demo and review, you can see that video by following the link in the top right hand corner. Derwent recently released specially formulated papers that pair with their light fast and intense line of products. One of the most common questions asked by beginner colored pencil artists in Facebook forums revolves around what pencils to buy and also what paper to pair it with. The Derwent Intense line of paper products attempts to answer this question with its offered pairing to the popular water soluble ink pencil. Some of the Inktense paper features include that it's 100% cotton, cold pressed, 300 GSM or 140 pound, acid free, it's robust and absorbent to withstand multiple layers, and it maximizes the performance of the pencils. In this demonstration I'm doing, you can see that it doesn't take much pigment to get a great amount of intensity from the colors once water is applied. The paper is readily absorbing the pigment, but still has enough tooth left for me to go deeper with my layers. Some of the Inktense pencil features include that they are permanent when they are dry, intense and vibrant ink-like colors, suitable for fabric and other surfaces, can be worked over without affecting the previous layer, they have an 8mm round barrel and 4mm core, and they're a water-soluble pencil. Inktense pencils are a great alternative to watercolor, especially if you don't want your previous layers of color to be disturbed by more applications on top. Their bright, vibrant colors also make for striking results in your art. One thing to note, however, is that some of the colors do not have great light fast ratings. Make sure you're aware of which ones if you plan to sell an original piece of art created with this product. One of the things that I really like about this product is that it still functions well as a normal colored pencil for additional details and texture over top of the water blended layers. The paper, however, as you may notice, is starting to buckle and warp a bit even so it has been taped down with a low tack tape. I'm moving around the image now, adding in my final layers to create extra depth and contrast where needed. Another thing to note is that not a lot of water is needed when using this product, depending on what you are trying to achieve. When trying a new product, it's always best to experiment beforehand so that you can see the strengths and limitations before you create your first piece. Here's a look at the finished painting using both Durant Inktense products. The paper held up really well to the multiple layers as well as both wet and dry applications of the pencils. The colors are incredibly vibrant and the texture of the paper isn't too visually aggressive like some cold press papers can be in my opinion. I wasn't happy about the fact that the paper warped quite a bit and it didn't return to being mostly flat the way some of its competitor papers will. Overall, it's a nice paper, but I'm a much bigger fan of the pencils in this line of products. If you're one of my Patreon subscribers, you can see an in-depth time lapse on how I created this piece. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.